Fanfic Corner, presented by Animal Girl. My Little Pony, Next Generation, Chapter 1, Morning Radiance, Daughter of Twilight Sparkle and Flash Sentry, written and read by Animal Girl. Okay, everyone. Now, before we get started, I'd like to say one thing, and that is that I have loved My Little Ponies ever since I was a kid. Um, my top two favorites genres are Friendship is Magic and the original My Little Ponies, um, which was called simply My Little Ponies and then later became known as My Little Ponies and Friends. Now, this story basically, or this fanfic, basically tells the story of the children of the main six, Spike, Princess Celestia, Luna, Princess Cadence, Zakura, Trixie, Starlight Glimmer, and Sunburst. Now, please note that all the characters within this story belong to Friendship, My Little Pony's Friendship is Magic. The only ones I own in this story are the children, and they are as follows. Princess Morning Radiance, the daughter of Princess Twilight Sparkle and Flash Sentry. A Pegasus. Princess Flurry Hearts, or Flurry Heart, daughter of Princess Cadence and Shining Armor, an Alcorn. The only one of the children I don't own. Princess Mirage, daughter of Princess Celestia, and Discord, a Draconicus. Prince Copycat, a son of son of Princess Celestia and Discord, a Draconicus. Princess Northern Lights, daughter of Princess Luna, a Bat Pony. Cinnamon Apple, daughter of Applejack, an Earth Pony. Streamer, daughter of Pinkie Pie, an Earth Pony. Pinata, son of Pinkie Pie. An Earth Pony. Confetti, daughter of, Ap of Pinkie Pie. An Earth Pony. Swift Wind, daughter of Rainbow Dash. A Pegasus. Lightning Bolt, son of Rainbow Dash. A Pegasus. Sweetheart, daughter of Fluttershy. A Pegasus. Gemstone, daughter of Rarity. A Unicorn. Spark, son of Spike and Ember. A Dragon. Sunflare, son of Starlight Glimmer and Sunburst, a unicorn. Wanda, daughter of Trixie, a unicorn. Zala, daughter of Zakora, a zebra. Zamba, son of Zakora, a zebra. Twilight Sparkle always wanted a daughter. Ever since she was a filly, it was the one thing she wanted more than anything, except learning everything she could about magic. So, six months after her wedding to Flash Sentry, she was ecstatic to learn that she was three months pregnant. When her foal was born, she was happy to learn that it was a filly. Though, to be honest, she wouldn't have cared if her baby was a filly or a colt, as long as her foal was healthy. She had a yellow coat and blue mane and tail like her father, though there were pink stre streaks of pink in her mane and tail, and her eyes were violet like her mother's. Her parents named her Morning Radiance, and both agreed that they now had everything they could ever want. Mom, have you seen my hairbrush? Morning Radiance called from her bedroom. Her voice bounced off the crystal walls of her mother's palace. Though she knew that her mom and her uncle Spike used to live in a library that resided inside a hollowed-out enchanted oak tree, she couldn't picture any other home. Her two best friends, Spark and Sunflare, stood in her doorway. Hurry up, Radiance, Spark said. The others are waiting. I'm trying to hurry, Morning Radiance said. Mom! It's on your vanity. Twilight said, entering her daughter's room. If you would pick up your room once in a while, you would be able to find things when you're looking for them. 
You're one to talk, Mom, Morning Radiance said as she moved the piles of hair ribbons and other things on her vanity, finally locating the elusive hairbrush. I've seen the library after you've been done after you've studied. You never put the books away. The young princess ran the brush through her mane, getting the worst of the tangles out. No matter what she did, it always looked messy, and she had been forced to accept the fact that she would never have curly hair like her friend Gemstone and her cousin Princess Flurry Hearts, or wavy hair like her friends Princess Mirage and Princess Northern Lights. Her hair finally as tame as she was going to get it. She turned to her two friends, who were more like her brothers. Let's go, she said. Cinnamon Apple, Streamer, Pinata, Confetti, Swift Wind, Lightning Bolt, Sweetheart, and Gemstone, Gemstone waited patiently at Sweet Apple Acres, where the eleven friends had agreed to meet. It was an arrangement that was easiest on Cinnamon Apple, who had chores to complete before she could hang out with her friends. What's taking them so long? Lightning Bolt said. Unlike his twin sister, the colt was every bit as impatient as their mother, Rainbow Dash. Swift, Swift Wind had a much calm more personality, like their father, Soren. Bolt, be nice, Swiftwind said. Not everyone is as, fat, is as fast as you think you are. Before Lightning Bolt could answer, their three friends came into view. Sorry we're late, Sunflare said. Radiance couldn't find her hairbrush, so it took her a little longer than expected to get ready. Looks like she never found it, Bolt said under his breath. Sunflare glared at him. It was no secret among the friends that he liked morning radiance. Both represented one of the elements of harmony, like their friends, but unlike their parents, there were seven. Cinnamon Apple represented honesty, like her mother Applejack. Sweetheart represented kindness, like her mother Fluttershy. Swift Wind and Lightning Bolt both represented loyalty, like their mother Gemstone represented generosity, like her mother, Rarity. And Streamer, Piñata, and Confetti represented, represented laughter, like their mother, Pinkie Pie. However, Sunflare represented magic, like his aunt-slash-godmare Twilight, while Morning Radiance represented the new element, friendship. Come on, Morning Radiance said, ignoring Lightning Bolt's remark. Let's go play. Spark and all ten foals ran off to play. They were all young. Spark didn't have his wings yet, and the foals had not yet received their cutie marks. The friends laughed as they chased each other through the fields. They felt safe playing on the farm, in Ponyville, and in the Everfree Forest, where their two other friends, Zala and Zamba, lived with their mother, Zakora, and their parents were comfortable letting them play unsupervised. There hadn't been any trouble in Equestria in years. The friends spent the entire afternoon chasing each other through the fields of Sweet Apple Acres, laughing happily as they played tag and hide-and-seek. Every now and then, they would catch a glimpse of Cinnamon Apple's Uncle Big Mac or Aunt Sugar Bell, but the friends knew they weren't watching them. They were simply going about their chores. However, unknown to the friends, or Applejack, Big Mac, Sweet Sugar Bell, or Apple Bloom, Someone was watching the friends from the shadows, someone from their mother's past who was extremely dangerous and seeking revenge.